Hi, this is Tim. Welcome to All Affiliate Cash. So today we're just going to do a very quick screen demonstration on how to use UTM tracking codes or UTM parameters to track the source of your leads with your funnel software. Now I'm going to be demonstrating this with Funnel Freedom, brand new program by Jonathan Montoya. This also works with Wealthery Connect. These are both based on Go High Level and the tracking of the UTM codes is built into that software. If you're using another funnel builder, you will probably have to add an extension to do what I'm going to show you here. Anyway, let's get right into it. So this is utmbuilder.net. Now the reason I'm showing you this screen is this lets you build a UTM, a string of UTM codes, which go at the end of your domain, at the end of your link. And once you know how to do this, you can do it manually. Now, in this case, we're going to be tracking solo ads. And the way that I use these is probably different than the way you will use these, but there's no right or wrong answer here. There are four parameters that are required. The URL, in this case, we're going to the Freedom Ascension Funnel. The source and I'm gonna call this UDIMI, which is the solo ad vendor or the solo ad service I'm gonna be using. The medium here is my solo ad provider. In this case, it's a woman named Ferranza. I've had great luck running her campaigns. The last field here is the actual campaign, which I call Freedom Ascension. Now, once you've defined these, you can see down here, we have a built out link with our UTM codes attached. Now these are ugly links. So the next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to actually use the URL redirect function to make this a pretty link. So we're gonna jump over here. Now URL redirects simply let you use short, clean links for your affiliate links or your UTM links. I don't ever post a direct affiliate link anywhere. I always use a redirect. In case something should change, then I can simply change the destination and the link that I've spread all over social media stays exactly the same. So within Funnel Freedom or Wealth Reconnect, the URL redirect is either under the sites link on the first page or under settings. Uh, both of them take you directly here. Now you can see I have a few defined here already. We're going to add another one, which is going to be a solo three. So we have solo, solo one, solo two. These are just things that mean something to me, but we'll show you how to add another one. So first within here, we're gonna select our domain. If you have multiple subdomains or domains defined, they'll be listed here. Uh, my full path, which we copied from the other page, as you can see is here. And then the actual destination. So the path portion of this is going to be our Freedom Ascension Solo 3 path. So we will now add our redirect. So now we have our Freedom Ascension Solo 3, which is much cleaner than that very long UTM. And this is the URL we're going to give to our solo ad provider. Now, once we've done that and we've run our solo ads, we wanna see where our leads came from. So now we're gonna come into our contacts page and we're gonna create a new smart list. You notice I have 227 records in here now and I have three smart lists that exist. Solo, which is empty. Solo one, which is one of the solo ads that I've has completed. And solo two, which is another solo ad that is completed. And I'll go into these in just a little more detail in a minute. In order to create one of these, we're gonna come in here to filters and we're gonna scroll down to our attribution filters. 
The attribution that I care about for this is medium. If you remember, this was the name of the vendor at UDIMI. So in this case, it was, we're making one for Ferranza. We're going to apply this. We'll save this as a smart list. This is Solo 3. The name here is not actually dedicated to this particular vendor, although it looks like it. I recycle these. I really only care about this while the ad is running. Once the ad is finished, I no longer care. Now, if, if I'd already run some things for Ferranza, I would set this up and I'd include the campaign name I may include the date filter so that I can tell what's happening with the current campaign. But in this case, again, jumping back to Solo 1, which completed this morning, you can see I had 111 valid opt-ins from that campaign. Now, that's interesting in and of itself, but if we were here on the all list, how would I know where these people came from? Well, you can click on the name of an individual contact. And then down here in the lower right corner, hover over the question mark. And you'll see that this first attribution, which is how they came into the system, was direct traffic. The campaign was Freedom Ascension. The UTM source was UDIMI. And the UTM meeting was Tom Ada. So this is another one of my uh, UDIMI vendors, uh, and you can see, I, I now know where this lead came from. Six months from now, when I get a sale, I can track back and know exactly where this sale came from. In addition, you can go to the reports functions, and under the attribution report, you can see where everybody came from. Uh, you can filter this. You can change the columns. Uh, in this case, a page was visited, but I have no contact. That means they didn't opt in. If we come down to this next one, we can see that this, this person came in and submitted the form. Now, I've blurred out the names to protect the innocent, but you can see how this thing all works. And again, you can filter this. You can change the columns in the view. So with attribution reporting, you have a, a significant view into where your leads came from. So in a nutshell, that's how you add UTM parameters and how you track them within Go High Level, whether you're in Funnel Freedom or Wealth Reconnect, it all works the same way. I hope you found this interesting. Until next time, life is good. Mm -hmm.